All right, and uh, today we're back with uh, Zach Appio from Odd Concept Media. Uh, we talked to him a couple, it was last summer, I believe, uh, when uh, we finally got together after, you know, being connected at one of the uh, these things. They used to, they were called comic book com- conventions, and we used to have them. So, uh, but uh, he's back and he's doing, he's currently doing a, uh, art project to help uh, raise money. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring him in and we'll find out what he's doing. Hey, Zach, how's, how's it going? going? Good, good. How, how, how have you been since uh, we last talked? Uh, did, did you get, you got married, right? Uh, I didn't get married. I actually got engaged, but I appreciate you asking. Engaged, okay. Yeah. Uh, You're close. June, yeah, June, <laughs> is, June is the wedding, so we're right around the corner for it. Very excited. Oh, good. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, so what have you been up to with uh, your odd concept media? Because I've, you know, we're both part of the uh, same group, the quarantine karaoke thing that uh, our mutual friend uh, Douglas Arthur started up. And, uh, you know, I've been seeing you've been posting some stuff there. So, you know, what have you been doing? Yeah, so I kind of uh, have dove into the world of comic book sketch covers as of recently. Um, and I've been doing a series to benefit um, the American Cancer Society. And sort of the way that came about was um, a few months ago, I did a project. Uh, I did an artist sketch card, which was my very first artist sketch card that I have e- had ever done. Um, I had come into possession of an artist proof um, upper deck sketch card. So what I wanted to do was um, create the character Legion, you know, and sort of my own depiction of that and then auction that off for charity um, for NAMI, which is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And if anyone that doesn't know the character, Lee, he suffers from a variety of mental illnesses. I thought it was sort of a fitting um, charity to auction the card off for. So I was very successful in doing that. I was actually able to raise $75 for the charity, which I think was you know, more than sufficient um, for the card. I was extremely happy to get that. Um, so it was a very rewarding experience. So sort of while I was working on that card, I was also, um, in the background compiling, uh, my own collection of blank sketch covers. Um, and then while I was doing that, I came across a Facebook group called comic book sketch covers for cancer. Uh, so I reached out to them. Um, the organizer named John Rogers, very, very nice man. Uh, and he basically said that they offer free comic book covers, blank covers for anyone that's interested, any artist, and they'll send the covers free of charge. And you just do any artwork that you want on them and send them back. And then um, John and his team auction them off and all the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. So I just thought it was an absolutely fantastic um, cause that they were doing and fit right into what I was kind of trying to dive into anyways. Um, so. I, you know, I messaged John and asked for uh, a list of comics. They, the way they have it set up on the site is they sort of have an Excel spreadsheet. So any artist can go on and see the current blanks that they have and send John a message or whoever, and they'll get right on to sending them out to you. Um, so or- originally I had sent out for, I had I had requested 12 covers and John sent me back last minute and said that the 12th cover that I had requested was unfortunately off the list, which was totally fine. So I ended up getting 11 sent to me and currently I think I just finished the ninth one. So about to start the 10th and then finish the final 11th to get them back. And so uh, what covers have you been working on? Um, The cover I just finished was actually uh, a Star Wars Bounty Hunters cover, which is actually one of my more favorite ones that I've done which um, sort of imagines the character Grogu from The Mandalorian all grown up as a Mandalorian. And he's in possession of uh, Din Djarin's armor, who's the Mandalorian that he, you know, is in, who protects him during the show for anyone that might not be familiar. And in the drawing, he also is in possession of the Darksaber, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. And then he's also holding the Razorcrest shift knob, which is obviously a very sentimental um, object to both characters in the show. Um, but for my series, uh, what I'm designing them for is their um, comic book covers for cancer's March 4th auction that they're doing, which is uh, obviously, mm-hmm. or not March 4th, May 4th, I'm sorry. Uh, and it's a May the 4th <laughs> Star Wars theme, 
Uh, so all my covers yep. are are crossover Star Wars type themed. So there's a lot of like X Men, which feature like Grogu interacting with different X Men. I have one where he's on a giant size X Men cover, and he's sort of in the X Men costume closet, and he's trying on Wolverine's, um, you know, helmet piece because of his ears. So he thinks that you know that will fit better on his ears type thing. So just trying to be creative that way. And I, I started doing um, sort of process videos too as well while I was um, creating the art. So I'll take uh, similar overhead shots as I'm going. And then once I finish, once I finish a drawing, I'll kind of go through and um, show the different levels as I was working on the video or working on the project until I got to the final, the final step. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the last cover that I just recently finished. And then the next cover that I'll be starting is a um, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy cover. Uh, so yep. my, idea, my idea for that is I'm going to have basically Grogu snuck into Poison Ivy's, um, you know, garden. And he's basically running away. He had just eaten one of her plants, so he's running away. And then in the background, Poison Ivy's, you know, screaming, crying as Harley Quinn is chasing, <laughs> chasing after Grogu and trying to smash him with the hammer kind of whack-a-mole style how yeah. long do, does it usually take you to do a cover like this uh it's funny you should say that so initially um i'm very new to this so i'm kind of experimenting with different media things so initially i kind of was you know gung-ho i was like okay i'll do everything full ink full color and all that and then as time kind of progressed uh my deadline kind of started to set in on me um i needed to i needed to have all my comics back by mid april in order to have them in for the uh the may auction so i think i put out a post a few weeks ago that was like you know crunch time with these covers so eventually i switched to just doing them um just pencil which i actually found that i like more and was getting better results with um you know the ideas that i was trying to execute so I'd say initially, initially when I first started and I was doing them, you know, full ink and color and everything, it was taking me close to maybe two weeks, which was a little bit too long for having 11 covers. Plus, you know, I wasn't working on them every day. Um, and right. then now, now, since I've sort of transitioned into just pencils on the cover, it takes me probably two to three days max to get one done. So I'm, I'm going to bring up one of my, uh, one of my favorite uh what this one this one's one of my favorite the hell the hellblazer oh yeah that's uh that's my fiance's favorite for sure <laughs> are are there you know once you're done with doing the star wars ones are you is this something that you plan to like you know continue you know just doing or kind of see where your artistic uh winds blow you i guess <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That's uh, that was the plan. The plan initially, before I had even gotten started with doing the charity series, um, I had stockpiled. Literally, I think I have maybe eighty sketch covers now. And the the main goal, the main purpose was that I was doing sketches in just my regular notebook, which is totally fine. But it kind of just dawned on me, like if I'm gonna be taking all this time to do these sketches, it'd be nice to put them on, you know, maybe comic covers that I could then either market or show at different conventions and things mm -hmm. moving forward once we get back to you know showing at cons and stuff <laughs> like that um so just testing a new medium for myself i always like to do different art and things like that and branch off into into different new art worlds um and then even the, the sketch cover community has been absolutely fantastic um very helpful uh everyone that i've been in contact with trying to get advice the initial problem I was, I found that I was running into that I was just banging my head against the wall was that um, some of the older sketch covers tend to have like a glossy cover uh, texture to the cover. And I was unaware of this and I was trying to do inks yeah. and markers and just nothing would stick to the cover. And I was just racking my mind trying to figure it out. So I just posed the question to the community and they basically broke it down for me as simple as possible. So. I, they've always been a big help, and um, even the artist, his name is Jeff Edwards, who I've been have become a big fan of. He does a show, a live show every Saturday night, where you can watch him um, in live time sketching a cover. Um, he only does ink lines; he he doesn't do the color. And then once he finishes the cover, he actually does a random drawing for everyone in the chat, and whoever you know, they spin a wheel, and whoever's name comes up wins that particular drawing. 
So I've come close a few times, haven't actually won mm -hmm. one of his drawings, but I'm hopeful. But for me, it's um, invaluable to be able to talk to an artist like him and, you know, just pick his mind for different things. It's been very helpful for me. Well, I, I, I fell down the uh, sketch hole or sketch sketch hole sketch cover uh, hole a couple years ago because uh, I was I'd you know get original art from work and my theme was uh, Simpsons characters is you know mashed up with DC characters and then I realized hey I can get a uh, my own unique cover for a comic book. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, there's so many places the, the, you can. They're yeah. they're fun. It's it's a great it's a great uh, concept that somebody in the marketing department came up with <laughs> for sure that's i've actually been joking uh with some of the movies coming out now like you have the snyder cut being released and things like that and uh i've been joking with my fiance that i don't think we're far off having variant movie editions being released sort of like how they do variant comic covers and you're gonna see you know guest directors come in and retake the footage and recut the footage how they see it and you're gonna have different you know, find your cut of the movie that is how you like to see it kind of thing. I don't think we're very far off from seeing that. <laughs> so uh, where can uh, people, you know, uh, find your work and uh, where can they, uh, you know, bid on your covers if they want? Yeah, you can uh, you can find my work on uh, on our on my Facebook page, Odd Concept Media. Um, you can just do a simple Google search with my name and Odd Concept Media, and I'm sure it'll come up. Um, other than that, uh, be on the lookout for uh, the May auction for comic book covers for cancer. Uh, I believe that is their eBay auction name. So if you did a search on eBay, that should come up. Um, I don't think they'll be listing the new covers until May 1st. Um, and I think the auction spans for about a week. Uh, but I'm sure they'll have information. You can feel free if anyone wants to reach out to John themselves through his Facebook. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to uh, provide information that way. Well, uh, yeah, I'll definitely look for the um, link and put it in the show notes if, you know, somebody's uh, interested in, you know, trying to snag one of those covers for a good cause. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, I found I even bought two covers in the last auction myself because, you know, I'm a collector myself, so can't pass up amazing <laughs> original art. <laughs> even when you can make it yourself. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> and uh, are you are you on uh where, what are your other social media outlets? Uh, you're on. I know you're on Twitter. Yep, we're on Twitter, um, concept underscore odd. Uh, and you can also check out our website, which has all of our contact information, oddconceptmedia.wordpress.com. And uh, anything else, you know, in the works? Because I know you were working on a couple projects last time we talked. And, I mean, there's you know, if it's something you don't want to talk about, that's fine. I just wondered if... If, you know, there was something else that, you know, if there is, keep me informed. We'll talk later. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, the only thing I have going now is uh, in the back burner. I think we talked last time I had sort of a Star Wars uh, fan fiction novel. But right now, everything has kind of just been put on pause outside of the comic sketch covers. Because once these get done this month, it's wetting 100%. Uh, well, thanks for taking the time. And uh, sorry for the uh, technical difficulties. I'll try to work around them. <laughs> no worries at all, Chad. It's always nice talking to you. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, one of these days we'll uh, get to meet in person, maybe at uh, the local Albany Con. Uh, I'm sure that when uh, John can get it up and running again, it'll be up and running again. <laughs> Definitely. I know. Very much looking forward to it. All right. Well, again, it was uh, great talking to you. Stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, keep in touch. Sounds good. Bye, Chad. All right. All right. Later.